Hi, this is Tuesday morning, July 14th, 2020. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor at Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And I'm glad to be able to share a few moments with you in the Word of God this morning. I'd like to talk to you about loving God for a few minutes today. And the Bible is very specific about that. You know, a lot of people say they love God and the Bible teaches us that there is one way that that really manifests itself, and that is in people being willing to obey him. And Jesus said in John chapter 14 and verse 15, he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And then a little bit later on in that same chapter, verse 21 and 23 say, in essence, that a person who says they love God, they will manifest that in keeping his commandments. And the, the, those who keep his commandments are showing and proving that they love him. And loving God, saying we love God is one thing, but then backing it up with actions is quite another. And the Bible says very specifically that people who really love the Lord will have a desire to obey him. Now, certainly we cannot obey God perfectly. There's no way that we mortals can ever be sinless and flawless without error. But the Bible does say that we should have a definite heart to obedience if we really love the Lord. We're going to focus our attention for the next few mornings in 1 John chapter 5. And let me read for you a couple of verses from 1 John chapter 5. Verse 2 says, By this know we that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. In other words, they're not unpleasant to us. The Bible teaches us if we love God, we'll love the things of the Lord, and we'll love his commandments just as we love him, and we'll have a desire to keep his commandments. And so whenever somebody says to you, oh, I love God, a, a first question that comes to mind ought to be, okay, well, are you proving you, that you love God by proving it, by desiring to obey him? Are you being obedient to the Lord? And that is the proof of our love for Christ. And every child of God should examine himself. Do I, do I really love the Lord? You remember in John chapter 21, Christ challenged Peter with this. Peter, do you love me? Lovest thou me more than these? And each time Peter said, I love you, Lord. And then Jesus said, well, feed my sheep, feed my lambs. In other words, care for those whom I care for, if you really love me. And his obedience would be the mark of his love. And the fact that he would follow the Lord's commands, willingly, joyfully, would demonstrate that he really loved Christ. And it's true for all of us, if we really love the Lord, we will desire to obey him. And may that be the prayer of our heart today. Lord, I love you and I want to obey you. I want to be the kind of person you want me to be. I want to demonstrate my love to you with my actions. God bless you today.